Nashville police are looking to identify this man. They say he's a person of interest in the desecration of American flags at a veteran cemetery. WBZ's Paul Burton talked with a man who says he witnessed the crime and snapped that picture. At that point, I was, I was outraged. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Insulted and infuriated, George Catini says he witnessed an unthinkable act while sitting in his car in traffic by the Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Somerville. He says a man and a woman in their 20s walked into the cemetery and ripped four American flags out of the ground. The man then took the flags and walked behind the monument. He started undoing his pants, taking himself out, and making motions and what appeared to be urinating. You can see the flags completely vandalized. George says he was so disgusted and infuriated by what he witnessed that he confronted the couple. And when they ignored him, he took pictures of them on his cell phone, posted on Facebook, and shared those pictures with police. I just started taking pictures of them. And as I, as I got out of frame, I watched them go up a side street, pulled up, went up the side street, saw them going into the house that they apparently lived in. So I got all that information down, came home, calmed down, Made some phone calls, called the police, left him a message. George posted the photos of the desecrated flags on his Facebook page and is drawing a lot of attention and comments. Tom from Somerville also witnessed the incident and is personally disgusted. Two of his friends are buried here. That's not acceptable. And they were walking away laughing and uh, I thought it was a, a fun thing. So if they've identified them. George hopes police nabs the couple and holds them accountable. I'd love to see them prosecuted. I'd love to see them have to also do lots of community service. I don't know if they realized the sacrifices that veterans made. Somerville police are still investigating. Anyone with information and helping identify that individual is asked to contact police. And Somerville, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.